Well, hello, and welcome back. It's me, Garrett, and today I come to you to talk about Christmas. Now, for a lot of people, Christmas is a wonderful and amazing, magical, if you may, time of the year, where families come together, friends and enemies, put their differences aside, and all come into the giving and caring and loving spirit that is Christmas. Unless you're a fucking Jew. Happy Hanukkah. But if not, and you're a regular person, then Christmas time is a time of year where nothing else really matters except giving and caring and coming together and neutrality, I suppose, if you want to look at it that way. And um, I always hated Christmas. Christmas was the most despised and lowest point of the year for me personally because I don't have the greatest relationship with my family. I actually have a bare bones, minimal, horrible of a relationship with my family. A little bit better than Ryan's. I can spend more than 24 hours around them at any given time. The hell, I was, I was down to see my family for almost a week this year. Fucking incredible. But when Christmas usually comes around, I go into this horrible, horrible depression. I, I don't know if it's a matter of just this longing and this uh, unfulfilled sensation that I don't have this family togetherness that I should, or the fact that I should feel closer and uh, stronger bond. Or, uh, I should feel happy, I suppose, is the, the big thing, is that when Christmas comes around, everyone should feel happy. Everyone has or needs or could have a reason to be happy, but every time Christmas came around, I was never happy. And it uh, it never happened this year because this year, 2012, looking back at it as a year in review, has been just a constant year of depression, which is just it's sad, really. I, I don't know where that could stem from. Uh, But, this year didn't have that. And, you know, spent quite a bit of time with the family, visited, socialized, and realized why I fucking hate my family. We do not have a togetherness. Everyone talks shit about everyone else. This can't be a natural, constant thing that every human being does, is that... They just talk fucking utter shit about an individual when they're not around, and they put on a fucking happy, smiley, pleasant face when they are around. It's... This is why I fucking hate pleasant people. This is why when people are nice and pleasant, I treat them like shit. Is because I spend time around my family. And when my family treats someone pleasant and nice and great. They're just putting on a fucking act in bullshit. And then when you're not around, they start talking shit about you. They fucking start picking apart your character, your family, your life, your decisions, everything. And they fucking just belittle you and berate you in front of other people because they don't have the balls to do it in front of your fucking face. You fucking... Um, you approach them and they just backpedal. No, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I didn't say such a thing. That, that, no, no, no. And that was a kind of funny thing that I had noticed from the reactions of my family this year is that I've been, I've been overly secluded this year. I really haven't gone out and socialized with many people. I haven't been, uh, well, social whatsoever. Really, I've I've moved in kind of a hikimori, um, a social recluse form of life where I just work. I go home. I watch my internet videos. I I watch some anime and I go to bed. I get up in the morning. I do it all over again. Doesn't sound like much of life, but fuck, I'm saving money. And with that money, I'm going to save it, I'm going to fucking do things, I'm going to find things, and then, fuck y'all. I'm gone, that's it, I'm done. I've had it. I don't need any more reasons to have to socialize with you people. Not you people. I love you people. Those people, the family people. Why is it that family is such a difficult thing to try to fucking associate with, bond with, and get along with? Christ, 
the best gift that I got for Christmas this year so far. I haven't seen Brian yet. Is my pug calendar I got for my sister who I was actually just with at the pet store. I'm like, that is cute. She's like, I'll buy it for you. And that was it. Merry fucking Christmas. I asked my mother to get me a uh, Nintendo DS Lite. A DS Lite, something that came out in 2006. It's currently 2012 right now. This thing has been on the market for six years. I see it at flea markets for about $80. That is way too much money. Maybe I'm fucking cheap. Maybe I just know fucking better. I go again, GGI, I see them ranging from the prices of about $20 with a bunch of games to about $100 with a bunch of games. I mentioned to my mother, just because she's like, oh, what can I get you for Christmas? I'm like, oh, get me a Nintendo DS Lite. It should be cheap, it should be easy to find, fucking no problems whatsoever. I show up, and my mom's like, you know how much fucking trouble I had finding this thing. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, and it was expensive. I'm like, how much did you spend? She's like, over $150. She spent $150 buying a fucking Nintendo DS Lite, something that you can buy for $20 with a bunch of games. And she didn't even game, get any games with it. She didn't get a fucking stylus with it. None of that shit. <laughs> and she bought it off fucking some douchebag off Amazon. And got ripped the fuck off. Because I don't fucking know how. I don't understand how you can buy a, a Nintendo 3DS XL for $150 on a Boxing Day sale, and yet she spends that much on a six-year-old fucking device. Her and my sister had to pitch in together to afford it together. That is fucked. That is absolutely just brain dead right fucking crazy fucked. How the hell do you shit the bed that fucking bad? I, I told her, I'm like, you know, you people are not reliable. I can't trust you people to fucking buy things for me anymore. I have to, t uh, the whole element of a surprise and mystique in Christmas uh, and presents and giving has gone right out the fucking window because you people ruin it. You ruin it because you spend too much goddamn money on something that should be fucking easy and cheap and then you bitch and bitch and bitch at me about how fucking difficult it was. I love my mama. I fucking do. But Jesus Christ, I can't wait to move to Texas. I'm done with it. I fucking can't stand the cold. I can't stand the fucking family. I'm just, I'm fucking finished with it. I'm just, I, these overly sensitive fucking people. I, I, I am in the wrong fucking century or I am in the wrong fucking country because I don't have a personality that meshes well with these sensitive, fucking politically correct people. Drives me insane. Although going to estates, trying to find a woman there, they're all fucking fat. But whatever! I don't care! I just gotta get away from the cold. I gotta get out of here. I, 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 I have to leave. I'm fucking tired of this bullshit. Fuck me, and a Merry Christmas to all.